He's just thinking about it, alright. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Whoa, okay, what am I doing? So there's some monkeys you haven't freed yet. Yeah, that's right. Now if we could get off the edge. How the f Okay, I didn't- What? How was I on there? Oh, yeah, finish him. Right in the genitals? My lord, Link, that is so hostile of you. Yes, everything flows together in Zelda games, that's what I like. So you get the ability to explore huge areas in, like, no difficulty. I like that. But yeah, the boomerang served for more as, like, a stunning item, so... It serves only use for the wind mechanic of it, and that's about it. So anything that requires wind, such as those little things that we were just spinning, I don't remember what they're called, because I'm dumb. But yeah, that's, like, one of the few things that it, like, is actually useful for. In other words, you're not going to ever throw a boomerang, this boomerang, at a bad guy and it actually do something useful, except for maybe this. But see, uh, these are, like, the only enemies they're actually useful against. Everything else, it's... Huh? Oh, okay. Everything else is not very much... I mean, the only thing I could think of would be maybe bats most. Alright, we don't need to fight all these guys. You might as well just keep flipping them around just to torture them. Open this. And that's heart piece number two. So, although they um, give away a lot of heart pieces, they make some of them fairly easy. Like, they just gave us two inside of a dungeon. And usually you don't get heart pieces inside of dungeons. But yeah, they're gonna throw that at you a little bit. So, I'm gonna try and pay attention to the heart pieces and all that, that's one thing I'm... As far as unlocking everything, 100% you know, spiders, they kill. That's one of the few things, but that's more as you're just pulling it off, so they're just dying for the sake of dying rather than the boomerang. That's all. Um, there was something I was saying. Oh yeah, getting 100% in this game. Because there was actually something else, uh, another feature in the game we haven't encountered yet, that completely slipped my mind. And that is probably not going to be introduced until maybe after around the third temple is really when it becomes prominent. And admittedly, I'm a bit nervous about it, but I'm sure around that time I'll at least be intelligent enough to have figured something out. But like, it involves collectibles, and they can be kind of tricky to find. Yeah, should be this door. I mean, heart pieces, they're no issue. I can get heart pieces easily, and I got it all mapped out in my head. Stop. Upgrades? That's fairly simple, too. I can map that out in my head as well. But this other collectible? That could take quite a while to take care of. So, yeah, a bit nervous, but again, I'll figure something out. I always do. There's another collectible. Think of it as the Skulltillas, as you would. And like the Skulltillas, they're... I'm not going to collect them all. I didn't collect all the Skulltillas in Ocarina of Time because it wasn't really necessary to do it, especially for such a mediocre reward. I mean, I'll collect anything like that if it's available and if it's just there. Sure, I won't ignore it. But I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way to get all of those, just because it's not necessary. So that's the only thing I'm not going to be collecting all of, is basically just the Skulltillas inside this game. Like, originally I intended to do that as far as Ocarina of Time, but I changed my mind because... Yeah, I don't know. There's actually one video I would consider making that I never bothered doing it. Like, I always thought of it ever since, like, um, I joined YouTube. And that was to make a video about the locations of all the Skulltillas. Done in, like, a single video. Because most people, they don't really know all that. And no one's... Yeah, like, not everyone knows where all the locations of the Skulltillas are. So, that would be very helpful. Getting it all in one video would make it even better. And yeah, I don't know, it was just something I always thought of. Whether I'll do it or not, I don't know. Like, I've done it before, but... Yeah, there would also be rules, like some Skulltillas you could only get at night. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's right. In this game, the Skulltillas, you can only get at night. And, like, I've looked it up, and the videos I have saw were all really crappy. So I would consider making one for this game, too. But again, I don't really know if I feel up to it or not, because it would take quite a while to do. 
Or if one of you guys wants to, go ahead. I just gave you an idea. You're welcome. I'm not really bothered. If you do it, that just means I don't have to. Go, Link, get around. Thank you. However, you gotta make it at least useful enough as to where people can tell the location of things. So, I mean, like, I was thinking the whole fast forward with music, because that'd be easy. But again, you gotta make sure people at least know where it is. So make it obvious if you're gonna do like that. Well, they try and make it challenging on you by doing that. You know, you'd, you'd think, like, the bomb would go to you. Hey, whoa, get off of me! And you just throw it up there, but you can't. So what you do is you take the boomerang and you go boom up like that. And it is super cool, fun, awesome. Now, Link, we need another bomb. I actually call it Bomblings. Okay, so I was right, it is down here. Throw it to that. Oh, good one! We're gonna blow up now, Link. You see this? You see what you've done? You did that. That was no way my fault. You don't need to hit R, by the way. I'm just doing it because I don't know. There you go. I'm trying to think of all the things I've discussed thus far because it's been kind of sporadic and weird. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to talk about since getting the boomerang, and that was the whole beta thing. I don't know if I bothered mentioning anything, and if I have, and I just kind of got derailed, I apologize. But, um, I did some research again and found some stuff, but mostly stuff I already knew. And that is, um, firstly, one of the new things that's insignificant, but again, if anyone cares, the Gale boomerang was originally just found in a chest, so I guess that implies that, um, the bad guy wouldn't have used it. Well, that was certainly a something, wasn't it? Alright, advice for ki killing these guys hanging on the ceiling, just boomerang them down, and then do like that. I know what I said about the boomerang, but it's not killing them, okay? It's not dealing damage. Like, the only thing they can do is help the spider. It knocks things off, but it doesn't kill it. Spiders more or less die from the fall than they are the boomerang. So, monkey, are you gonna, like... I can't see. I don't... I think he left. I don't know. I like going inside their little caves and looting stuff. But yeah, the boomerang was found in a chest, so that was a... thing I wanted to talk about. I'll probably, like, discuss more of these theories and beta stuff as they occur, because I don't want to jump the gun and be all, like... cryptic when trying to talk about it, because I've done that sometimes, and I'll be like... I hope you understand what I mean, and then people are like, no, I don't understand a damn thing. In which case, that was my fault, but... I don't know. I'm trying to remember, there was one game, I think it might have been Sunshine, where I, like, I'd talk about it on occasion. Oh, good one. Like, I would talk... Okay, I understand. You're spinning. Now, could you stop? Hit it. Dear Lord, Link. Oh, what the hell? That was my fault. I did that to myself. I was expecting... And now I'm getting all hearty. Give me health. It's not healthy, jerk. That's fine. I'll be fine. I'm a link, goddammit. Okay. Now do this. Um, hit that. And then to make sure that doesn't happen, hit that one too. Okay. Now we hit this. Good one, Link. Now we hit this, and we're done. That was... And yeah, I know the beeping annoys some people. I never found the beeping to be annoying. I don't know, maybe it's just, I'm just good at, like, tuning things out. But, like, 99% of the time, I don't even care. I don't even notice it. There, the beeping's done. Like, it's never annoyed me. The only thing that's really annoyed me would probably be when Navi would just be like, Hey! And it's like, yeah, I understand what I'm supposed to be doing, but the thing is, I'm trying to do other things. That'd be the only time Navi would really annoy me. Even then, I still find the owl far more annoying. Just because he never shuts up. Navi, you can choose to ignore. You can't choose to ignore the owl. That's the difference. Yeah, I got the key. And I know I'm not the only one standing on the whole owl being annoying thing. Thank God for that. Die! He was like flipping about. Alright, I think I see some people. There you go. Grab that. Now kill him. Or don't kill him. That's cool too. Screw him. 
Watch out, that jerk. I don't know how I'm doing as far as- Ah, oh, dear heavens, why are they putting these spiders here? Go away! I don't know how I'm doing as far as time goes in terms of completing this. I have a feeling I've- like, Oh, good one, Link. Like when I started- No, there's a spider. Okay, stop. Get rid of these before we make an oaf of ourselves. Yeah, we, when I started, I was about 45 minutes. Now I'm hitting around the 30 minute mark. So, uh, it looks like the Force Temple is going to be divided into about three videos. And considering how the boss fight is, it'll probably be taking up the whole third video. I hate the boss fight. It's, it's not hard, it's just so stupidly time consuming. Also, hold on, I believe. Yeah. That reminds me, that's another thing. I didn't, uh. Or did I? No, I didn't. Crap. That was another thing I left behind. Ugh, I'm just so bad at this game. Well, there was a chest inside the central area, and inside of it was a compass? Yeah. So there's that. You need the boomerang to knock it down. It's on the ceiling, so... Since I didn't collect it, the most I can do is tell you it, because I don't feel like walking all the way back here just to walk all the way back again. Okay? In any case, well, no, the compass tells you where the treasure chests are, but that's it. I mean, the compass, uh, the dungeon map, you just figure it out where you go and where you haven't been, which is awesome, because that's the only thing I ever need. I don't care about the treasures. There's a lot of treasures in this game. I just realized I don't have a certain something. Oh, get it. Rid of it. There's a lot of treasures inside the game, like in dungeons, but most of them are actually useless. Like... Um, there'll be 20 rupees or something inside a chest, and they'll do a lot of things like that. So, in terms of completion, I'm not going for all chests like that, because that's just dumb and not even necessary. Oh, nice! You've never done that one before. I gotta go back for something, though, because I completely forgot it. Which sucks, because I could go to the boss right now, but no. So, what I'll do is, to spare you from uh, agony, I'll just transition over there. It's only about maybe two screens away anyway, so see you in a second.